Hi, I'm Mini, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Naturally Mini, where I discuss my fine 3C4A natural hair, aging gracefully, and I sprinkle in some part two live commentary. Thanks for joining me, and if you will, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and make sure to click the bell so that you can be notified when I upload videos in the future. I have fine natural hair, which means if I take a single strand of my curly hair in my fingertips, I can barely feel or see the hair that I'm holding. The diameter or the width of the single strand of my hair is thin. Now I love my fine natural hair because it's what the good Lord gave me and there is nothing I can do to change the thickness of my hair that's growing out of my head. What I can do is help my fine hair be as strong as it can be. Fine natural hair has fewer cuticle layers and smaller cortex. It's more fragile, prone to breaking, and it can be more difficult to retain length as compared to thicker hair. Here are five ways to strengthen fine natural hair and encourage healthy hair growth. One of the best things for fine natural hair is keeping it clean. Clean hair is happy hair. Fine natural hair is easily weighed down by product buildup and not all shampoos or co-washers remove all the buildup on fine natural hair strands. The accumulation of product buildup can lead to dry, frizzy hair with a lackluster appearance. Using a clarifying shampoo removes all the product buildup and residue from fine strands and cleans the hair follicles of debris, which encourages strong, healthy hair growth. I love using protein-rich deep conditioning treatments, and that helps to reinforce my fine strands. Using protein-based deep conditioners once every two to four weeks causes protein from the products to create like a film around the hair fiber, which gives fine hair more support and volume. I will say though, follow the instructions that comes with your deep conditioning treatment or whatever product you have. Using too much product or leaving product in too long isn't really necessary. Couple your protein treatments with moisturizing products. For, for instance, the week after you deep condition with a protein-based product, use a moisturizing conditioner after cleansing your hair and scalp. Also use moisturizing misting sprays and hair lotions that don't have protein. You don't want to run into a protein overload situation, which can be damaging for natural hair. If your hair loses its stretch and becomes hard and like crunchy, reduce the frequency of your protein treatments and alternate with a protein free treatment. To find out if your products have protein, read the ingredients on the back of the label and look at the words protein. For example, hydrolyzed wheat protein. All curly hair types with fine hair can benefit from a hot oil treatment. The hot oil treatments helps to strengthen fine hair and prevent dry, brittle hair, and split ends. Some good oils for fine natural hair are grapeseed, jojoba, argan and almond these oils don't leave fine hair feeling coated and weighed down like heavier oils can do remember less is best be sure to let me know what your favorite oil is to use for hot oil treatments to encourage blood circulation and healthy hair growth try massaging some of the warm oil onto your scalp for a few minutes, oh my goodness, it feels so good and it helps your hair out so much. Using a hair steamer uses heat to open hair cuticles and allows moisture from the steam to penetrate your hair. Steaming also works to open pores on your scalp and ensures new growth is possible. Steaming also aids in the hair's elasticity to safely stretch fine hair. Steaming can be done 
anytime the hair needs a moisture boost and especially right before deep conditioning for a better deep conditioning treatment. There are steamers and steaming caps available on Amazon. Check the description box and I'll put a couple of links there to some products. So those are five things that can be done to strengthen fine natural hair and encourage healthy hair growth. Let me know your best methods for strengthening your natural hair. Or if you've tried some of these methods, let me know down in the comment section. I pray this video is helpful. If so, please like the video and share it with your family and friends. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you guys who have already subscribed. I really appreciate it. As always, have an amazing, amazing day. Bye-bye.